overall thoughts, Coach? Uh, you know, again, you got to always look at the film because you're trying to find, you know, individual performances. But I, I thought it's pretty much kind of the same old stuff. You know, if you missed assignments here or there, um, we bust an assignment, they make a good play. They bust an assignment, we make a good play. Look pretty sloppy. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of progress as a unit, and I guess that'd be expected because we we got guys in and out of the lineup and all that stuff. But uh, as individuals, I've, it looked like we're pretty soft in there with the young linemen. Didn't see a lot of physical play in there. Uh, still a couple of really really bad mistakes out back. You know things that have got to, at some point in time have got to turn around. And uh, you know we don't play tomorrow. But it, it looks like to me it's just the same things occurring too often. So hopefully the light will come on and some of them will get a little bit better. We'll see. You know, but I didn't see much. And then we're not a very physical football team. You know, to be honest with you, we're not very physical. Coach Spurrier said that he thought the offense got the better of the defense early. The defense kind of came back and got the better of the offense. Is that how you saw it? I, I don't pay much attention to that. I don't, we don't have our, all our good, good players out there. If you put Alshon and, and Marcus out there and uh, some of our better ones out there, they might, might have some kind of judgment. I really don't have a clue. What I see is some players that haven't ever played before not making a lot of progress. And uh, again, there were some young defensive linemen I didn't think made much of a step. Uh, we're still making the same mistakes out back. Uh, and I don't think, you know, I don't have a lot of young linebackers, but I don't think the guys that have got chances right now to fight for time to play and all that, uh, they really made that much strides. So it's, it's more of an individual thing to me. I, the little thing we do at the end is try to have some fun and have a little competition. And, and uh, we might have won it today, but I don't think it means anything about having a great scrimmage. We just a few kids made a few plays there at the end. But it, again, it's more about individuals. And, and when you go in there and look at that film and you see the same things happening over and over, then you start to get concerned. Is that because of just lack of experience or, or maybe lack of talent in some areas, maybe overestimation? You know, I don't want to go too far on them. I think we've, we've stepped up a notch on talent. I, you know, there's physical talent, there's mental talent. Uh, character talent. There's all kind of talent. The thing that I have not seen in this in this football team right now is the ability to do things consistently over and over and over. Like I said, when we make a mistake, bust the coverage, offense makes a big play. When we they must uh, block an assignment or, or make a bad throw, we make a play. I, I don't see a lot of guys all playing really excellent assignment football, technique football, and then somebody whips each other. And when you get to that point, you know, then you feel like you're making progress, but it's just too many mistakes. And, you know, uh, lack of focus and, and improvement, and some of it's experience, no question about it. You know, I keep talking about the young players uh, trying to make progress, and so it obviously is about youth, but at some point in time, you know, improvement has got to start coming along. And I may find some things on that that I didn't, didn't see. You know, hopefully we'll see some things that some guys are doing really well. With uh, Go Lightly and, and Maddox back there, any thoughts of changes if they don't continue to improve? We're going to mix them around. Uh, you know, DJ, I don't think DJ played that well today. He had too many uh, mistakes. But DJ's fine back there. But we got to find somebody else to line up beside him. And we got to find two more that can play behind him. And uh, I don't want to be in the situation we were last year where some games we didn't have two guys to go the whole game. Fatigue starts to cause a lot of those mental assignments. Uh, all of them have done some really good things, but none of them are at the point right now that they could legitimately start for us. And you know, Marte can move over to the other side whatever we have to do to find that too deep uh, formula. But uh, there, there'll be some things I think that'll be better than I thought there were, but when you see the same mistakes, it starts to get frustrating. So that's that's youth, that's immaturity, that's got to get better. Are you missing some of the leadership qualities that Cliff and Lottie maybe had for this team last year? I don't know. You know I, I think our leaders are Paul and Devin. Uh, DJ's kind of trying to step into that role. So a lot of times those guys aren't even out here practicing kind of hard to identify. Uh, you know, I don't know I, who I would identify right now as our leaders up beyond those guys. You know, if you take Paul and Shaq off the field, Devin off the field, Travian off the field, you don't have any leaders. You know, like but again, this isn't about, it ain't about playing a game. This is about trying to develop some players. So you know, what I'm disappointed in is they're not consistently improving. Is Travian going to do anything for you the next week? No. Is, is he I mean, he's practicing. Now, but he did something other day. I think he strained his, uh, what do you call it, extensor or something a little bit. So he didn't do as much the last few days as he has been doing. But Brad's been working a little bit in inside drill, a couple of things in practice, but he's not going to scrimmage it. Is Alger playing outside the end a little bit of 
you had to do a little bit of both. You know, Coach, Coach didn't want us to work Melvin very much. And uh, we went there quick and put one of the long snappers. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. All this about who, who got the best of what and who played well today as a team. We got a long snapper at that defensive end. One time we got Corey Robinson at defensive end. It's hard to evaluate them, and it's hard to evaluate the guys that got to play behind them. So what you look for is who's doing what they're supposed to do, who's getting better fundamentally, who's doing better assignment-wise. And that, that word, coach, I mean, if I hear one word constantly coming out of coach's mouth, it's assignment. And it's, and it's true. I mean, we just don't have guys who are consistently taking care of their assignment. It's either mental or they, they don't have the technique, the fundamentals to play it properly. And that's where we've got what, where we've got to improve individually and as a unit to be a good football team. Thanks, Coach.